Hello Rap Bags, it's Jade. Welcome to a grounded update video. It's some big breaking news that has literally just gone live a few moments ago saying that Grounded has changed the release date of their next update. Yes, I know I'm going to give you all the information. Make sure you like it, make sure you subscribe for the best and original Grounded content. I'm going to be here all the way showing you all the brand new stuff that's coming in the next update. So yeah, unfortunately, Grounded are going to be moving the update a day early, unprecedented, an early access game that actually communicates and actually gets updates out earlier than what they originally planned. I know, I was kind of baiting you guys to make it think like it was going to be a bad thing. So for sure, the next update was meant to go live on the 27th, but now it's going to be going live on the 26th. Good news, great stuff. Let's play the video and see what Shyla, the community manager, has to say. Hello everyone! No, this isn't a full devlog for Grounded, but rather just a tiny taste of what's to come on August 26th. Wait, did I just say August 26th? I did, because we're changing the date of our content update. Expect our first content update to release on August 26th, along with our next devlog and a live stream. See you all then, and in the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay grounded. So honestly, that is great stuff. They're actually moving it by one day. I mean, that's great for me as well because it was going to be close to the weekend where I'm pretty busy with my family. So now I've got an extra day to get extra content out for you guys. And there's a bunch of different games coming out next week as well that I'm going to be showing off like Drake Hollow and Windbound and of course the ARC update for the console Crystal Isles. But anyway, Grounded, what can we gain from the trailer? Let's watch it again, though, just to see some information. Is it going to be the water update? Is it going to be the water content? We're still not 100% sure. I'm still thinking it might not be the water update. But let's go through this video in slow motion and see if there's any clues about what's coming. So we've got the great big massive, obviously, hot dog. And it looks like we've got our first burger patty. Patty? Burger patty? Something like that? Or is it actually a Oreo cookie? <laughs> At first glance, I kid you not, I did think it was a, a literally a burger, but it is the Oreo. Now, I've shown this off in the past. I've cheated this in in the past little bits, but that's the first time we've seen it completely. And then looks like we've got some brand new quests. What I really like about this is you can see it's called Chip Sleuth, Grave Robbery, and you get the Grave Robbery Burgle Chips. This is going to unlock brand new items for us to craft or uh, research or make. We read the description, in a hill to the west where you start this quest, straight through a rooted room gets you closer to the tomb. Past the tunnel of red rests a soul that is dead. Down the hole lies your goal. So clearly referencing this point where we get the first burgle chip or second burgle chip if you've got the one right next to him and it unlocks a bunch of new items. So is there going to be some more achievements now? Are we going to be able to go and find some more properly? Because they're the only two that are in the game. One next to Burgle and the one in that anthill. So I really do hope there's more now and we'll be able to unlock and craft some more stuff. And there kind of is a little bit of a reveal in this trailer. There is new items coming, including fence posts. Let's carry on watching the rest of the trailer and then we'll go through what I'm talking about. So here we've got a nice little landscape view. Look at them. It's brand new fence strings, I guess. Fence rope. It's pretty cool. I think I would have liked a bit more traditional post likes. But I guess we have got quite a few walls that look like that. So that's something a lot of people have been asking for, including me. It's a nice little decorative item that we're going to be able to place on. Looks like it's going to be made just out of fiber and um, sprigs so what else is there to be revealed well something here this is important like we're jumping up obviously we're going to use our flying doodly uh tuft in a second can't really see anything that new here point something out if i've missed it guys but yeah we're just jumping up and getting some bouncing there appears to be some big holes do you see them holes right in just in front of the water there. We're going to go over it a bit closer, but take a good deep look at these things. And there's obviously some importance to this. It's like kind of revealing it slowly and surely. But look at these holes. Are we going to be able to dig? Are we going to be able to start farming and actually creating crops for stuff? Now I'm baiting you again. It's just a massive giant footprint. It's a huge footprint. So are we going to start seeing some big, huge players or not players but characters running around just look at the sides of the footprint so they are changing the landscape up a little bit too 
I love this stuff. I love it when developers do this kind of thing and are just having a bit of fun, doing a bit of teasing and stuff. So I hope they continue this. I hope we get like little sneak peeks. I've got to work out what we're going to see maybe in the future. This kind of stuff really gets me. Um, so yeah, the update is coming one day early. I will give you guys the news, the lowdown, exactly previewing, showcasing some of the stuff that could be in it. I'm going to start talking about more about the water update that I was exclusively first showing you before everyone else jumped on the copy bandwagon. And I will be going over all the corrections. Because like I said, I just don't know if the water update is going to be there. I know we've got the AR test world and everyone assumes it is going to be there. But there's so many features of that world or that update that seems a bit broken or aren't there just yet. I'd be very surprised if it's all there completely. I mean, maybe we'll get parts of it. Maybe we'll get some of the creatures, the walk creatures. But I don't think we're going to get all of the walk creatures we've seen. As you saw from my first video, the uh, Strider doesn't seem to work very well in that preview build. Now, again, that preview build may be a few weeks old, but it did seem like it was pretty recent. So, yeah, maybe there's going to be some smaller mysteries, some smaller things, items added to it. Or maybe they're just doing it. It's just to tease us, and it's going to be massive, and it will be the huge water update. You guys let me know in the comment section, but I'll be there every step of the way. Also, a reminder, this Friday, I'm doing my first event. So you guys know I've been trying to do some community content and making all sorts of weird videos like we're doing 100 Bombardier Beatles versus 50 Ladybugs and I'm going to carry on doing my bug battles, I like these. But I am working on events where you guys can come and join. So there's a few things you need to do. You need to tune in on 10 p.m. UK time, so 5 p.m. Eastern on Friday. I'm going to be doing an maze event and there will be some prizes. And I'm going to be offering some memberships to Games Pass. I'm going to be giving out some Xbox Live codes and I will be giving away some PC Steam codes for you guys to redeem as well. So I kind of want to get into this more and more. I want to do events. I want to do games modes with you. This is the maze I've been building in my live streams. So if you want to come and join, you have to come join Discord because you may need to talk or you may need to be present so I can alert everyone or you need to add me on Xbox it's Jammy Jade all one word that's my gamer tag add me I'll add you by Friday and you guys can maybe take part in it now there will be a limit I'm probably going to keep it down to around 15 people and we may do a timed kind of thing where you get to go through the maze and it's the person who gets through the maze the quickest wins the prizes but we will do it a few times like I said and I may have time to do some more events we've got tomorrow as well I'm still going to stream a little bit maybe in the morning I want to create some more full guy style events because we can access some of the stuff like the catapult and we can make all sorts of things obviously with the jump pads as well so I think there's room to make some obstacle courses a little bit like Fall Guys and we could do something like that as well that's the idea so if we don't do it this this weekend or this Friday that will be the next big event so I'm going to be doing this a lot in my live streams and I want you guys to come help me build them and just take part and stay tuned uh, and members and patrons will get a guaranteed slot in the event as well so that's just another little bonus for people but otherwise it'll be open to everyone it'll just be first come first serve in my parties so come join discord to keep up to date when i'm going live and make sure you add me jammy jade or jpg on steam that's my steam name if you want to add me that way too and that is it guys just a quick little update video stuff's coming i can't wait to show it off to you loads of new content and i'm going to be there all the way i'll see you at bags for big content on the 26th and make sure you tune in like i said for my events over the next week or so